Wow, it is incredibly hot. Anyone in Europe right now, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Actually, I need some water. Hi, welcome. My name is Steele. This is the Kaizen House YouTube channel. Thanks for joining. It's only episode two. I'm sure there aren't that many of you watching right now, but for those that are, you're in for a treat because I've flown all the way from London to Dublin to meet Liz, my wife, if you're not aware, she's a chef. She is cooking at Meatopia in Dublin at the Guinness St. James Gate Brewery, which is gonna be fantastic. She's alongside loads of other brilliant chefs. And I thought it'd be a great opportunity for anyone who doesn't know about Meatopia to take you guys down and actually show you what it's like and show you why cooking over wood fire is definitely the future. Bold flavors, uh, really cool ingredients, definitely not one for the vegans, I'm sorry. No offense, but yeah, there's plenty of meat on display and it may disgust you. So please tune out now and don't leave any negative comments below because this is pure, unadulterated bliss. If you love beef, chicken, seafood, loads of smoked meat, barbecues, there's loads of live bands as well. But I have no idea where Liz is right now. So I need to make my way out into Dublin and try and go find her because the day's ticking away. You better get cracking, lots to do. This is it. It's nice to be back in Dublin. It's been a while, actually 10 years I think. It's actually one of the first places I decided to visit when I came to the UK. And probably one of the first places I filmed a vlog. Um, I'll put up some video footage of that now. Yes, that was me. Uh, with terrible blonde tips and terrible fashion sense. Not much has changed really. I should be able to find Liz inside and try and get some shots of Meatopia being set up from behind the scenes. Meatopia looks like an awesome event. It's been running for like over 10 years. There is a manifesto, which is all about preserving good quality, cooking over fire. And so we're gonna go speak to the chefs. So I've got my pass. Thank you very much, Dee, for sorting that out if you're watching this. I should be able to find the St. James Gate Brewery pretty quickly follow the music and the smoke. Thanks Guinness for throwing this awesome party and all the chefs that have come along today. I think we're almost there. I can hear music. Alright, let's go find Liz. Is that her? No. No. Liz! What are you cooking? We're getting uh, some roasted miso chicken, so chicken coated in miso butter. We got some burnt barbecue veg. Oh my god, check these out, it's amazing. Some caramelized lemon. Yeah. Very excited. Start of the show. Start of the show, chicken skin, very cocky. So, very cocky mix. Homemade, of course. We had chicken skin all the way through it. It's awesome. Okay, I don't know if you got that, but there's chicken furikake, chicken skin furikake as a seasoning on top of a miso chicken with roasted veg and yeah, it's one of the non-beef options at Meatopia this year. So I think they're trying, as a part of their manifesto, expand beyond just pure beef. Um, yeah, it's looking really good, but I think we should show you how this is put together. We've got some shots right now. Uh, by the way, it's absolutely boiling in here, like literally I'm melting. I don't think it could be any bloody hotter if you tried. I don't know, maybe I'm just too close. How do you deal with this? Sunglasses. Yeah, sunglasses.
thick of it in the pit at Jonathan Sawyer's camp right here. Like no ventilation. Jonathan Sawyer in the background here. Yeah. Did he give you more help? Representing. Yeah. Right. Guys, tell me a bit more about the Nonna's dish. I'll call you I right in the middle knock. of it. I tried to pelican it. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even chew. Just open, down the hatch. They're enjoying one of Liz's dishes. <laughs> it's, mm, it's miso and poultry and fire like nobody else could do. Bellissima. Mm. So, what, right. so what you got cooking? So here we have Nona's Sunday supper. And in the Italian-American sense, it's the idea of like starting a pot of gravy or yep. tomato in the beginning of the week yeah. in preparation for Sunday. But the sauce builds all week with whatever's left over from butchery, some sausages, some beef, some veal, some pork, just a little bit of everything. Bit of everything and by yeah. the end of the week, it is just so rich and so full of flavor. That's how this sort of tradition, American, Italian, hospitality came about yeah. and you add Guinness and fire and you get this Nona's gravy on steroids that we have right here yeah that's pretty amazing and the idea was that we started seven days ago with tendon water and then five days ago we added some pig's heads and some mirepoix and some tomato yeah and yeah. then every day we smoke like this yeah and then the following day we raise it out in that same gravy so now we're hitting day six or seven where we've had three different batches of smoked meat go through and the gravy is truly righteous yeah it looks delicious it's almost like... transcendental when you taste it because it's just tomato and it's not thick you know the whole idea isn't reducing it to like sugar water it's just yeah. like imparting more and more flavor, slow, slow, slow. Uh, and that's quite amazing. It's one of those dishes that takes a lot of commitment. I mean, yeah. not, your, yeah, not your everyday dish, you know. No, and the idea isn't you know, like... Planning a week ahead. Right, but yeah. we're not buying the most expensive cuts yeah. and using a veal demi-glace in order to make it rich. Yeah, this yeah. is just like love, labor, and time yields something that's so much better than just money, 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 money. Yeah, yeah. delicious. Yeah. Oh, you gotta get down here. Are you coming back next year? You know, if they'll invite me back, I caused quite a ruckus this year, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Mate, it's looking yeah. good. All right. Let's go check out some more stuff. Thank All you right. very much, Sean. Absolute. Have a good one. Cheers. Woo. Ciao, ciao. Back. This is far too hot. Okay, that's better. Cool down. Right, we are back at the Shibui stool, and Liz is going to show us how to make a dish. Right, what are you doing there? Uh, right, chicken fat mayonnaise made from all the best bits when we were rendering down the chicken. So you got, it's basically a mayonnaise um, with, with chicken fat mixed through the base. Chicken fat mayo? Woo. The healthiest mayo you can get. Yeah, it's anything um, with more fat is usually better, right? Yeah. And uh, we've got a barbecue veg salad to go with it. So it's barbecue fennel, spring onions, and caramelized lemon. Just kind of drizzle in through it. Citrus really goes well with the chicken and lifts it a bit. And then now we've got some barbecue chicken, so you can see over there. Hanging nicely, the doused in a miso butter. So roasted miso and butter. Nice. Makes the average Joe chicken a little bit more elevated. I swear it makes it more juicy. Nah. Oh, all the butter, fire. yeah, all the butter, like, yeah. through it. Here we go. And this is the piece of resistance, uh, chicken fat furikake. Look at that. Chicken fat furikake. What the hell? Chicken skin furikake. Chicken skin? Even better. Thank you very much, guys. Quick check-in, uh, as you can see, 
Meetopia Dublin 2018 has been incredible. There's some amazing stands. We've got incredible chefs on display. Noel Davison, Pip Lacey, Killing Crowley, Esther Troy, uh, Jonathan Sawyer, and of course Liz, all producing some amazing food cooked over wood. It's not just beef, we've got seafood, we've got chicken. Uh, I think they've really pulled off a, an amazing event this year in collaboration with Guinness at their uh, brewery St. James Gate and the staircase, two flights, a two flighted spiral staircase. Anyway, I digress. This event is amazing. I think the next step is to hand over some cash, get some meat bucks and use those to buy a number of different dishes, show you guys what that looks like because the dishes are incredible and I want to try them all. I want to try some of Guinness, Guinness's new beers that they have on display and then it's probably time to put the camera down and get stuck into the party. So yeah, I think that's probably going to sum up tonight and maybe we'll check in tomorrow. But if not, then yeah, maybe I'll see you at Meetopia in London later this year. Uh, if any of you guys are going, drop us a note in the comments below and yeah, we'll see you soon. Let's go.